Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Denny back again with my update on my Bruiser with the RC four-wheel drive V8 and transmission. I figured I uh, kind of got it fitted tonight. Wanted to try to check things out. Make sure everything smoothly operates. Actually, it fits the Bruiser quite well. The holes line right up except for the transmission mount. Right now, I don't have a speed control. I just banged out a battery. Check it out. Some things I want to go over with you. The retro fit this thing into the Bruiser. The RC four-wheel drive trail finder two mounts bolt right in, but the steering bracket for the Bruiser, you have to move it back a little bit. It's a tight fit under the oil pan. I still haven't worked that out yet, but it does work, so I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the bounce when I bounce off something. But here's the RC four-wheel drive. Trail Finder 2 transmission mount. You see when it sets, when it's bolted in, it actually sets just above the frame. So I got some L channel aluminum. Let me shut this off so you can hear me. I have some L channel aluminum. There's an existing bolt here in the frame. I'm just going to bring it in and attach it to it. Now, what I did with the cross member, I actually brought it down and then just put a long bolt from the top to do the bottom and tighten it up and I actually got to use the existing link mounts too so what I'm gonna do is make a square piece of aluminum put a couple of holes in it paint it black put it on there so that way you still got the original bruiser cross member and it's it sets in pretty nice you got plenty of room up front for everything um, it's down low which you can lower the body if you wanted to and get rid of these clawed tires here that they had and put some scale stuff on here I did buy the uh, 12 millimeter conversions for the bruiser axles um, just to try them out to see how much distance they are they look like they set out a little bit because they they're, they're gonna be about center is gonna be about where it is so but I won't know till I get them and uh, but I wanted to give you guys an update. I promised you a video on that. And it was not a lot of drama to do. It actually bouldered right in. You know, it's there. And another thing I was working on was that right there. You guys can see I got a little bit of a snow plow thing going on here too. So I did make a scale plow. And I had some extra lights and stuff I had bought from, like, there we are. <laughs> Sorry about it. Lost you there. I had some scale lights. I just kind of screwed them all together. And I made this frame out of, like, this flat stock quarter inch by eighth inch steel. And welded it together. And I got a great idea offline. A guy had actually come up with a mechanism with a rod that goes completely through that will actually pick up the plow. I know it's a little crappy on the video. I'm trying to reach around the camera. So that's what I got going tonight. And this does fit like right up under the two front mounts. It sits right above the hood. So very scale. Very scale. I was kind of happy that come out because I just kind of winged it one day. I was at work, had a little downtime, and I said, you know what? On lunch break, I ran up to my local hardware store and bought some flat steel, came back, and just took the measurements out of my ass, and it worked out pretty nice. So, like I say, if you're going to get the uh, RC four-wheel drive V8 with the transmission, and want to put it in your Bruiser frame, it'll bolt right in it. Just make the brackets at the back. 
The transfer case is the Trailfinder 2 transfer case. I bought a used one online from, oh, I can't remember, Positive Systems on eBay, I believe it was, uh, RC Recycler. You know, everything's about $20 or $30 too much than it is new, but, you know, when you need it, you need it. And, uh, and the shafts, I did not use the Integri shafts there because they did need shortened a little bit. So, I just grabbed some other shafts I had. I had a couple of the Junk Fact ones, and so I had a Hot Racing one from Bizarre Hobbies. And they were already just big enough to put in there, so I threw them in. So, like I say, that's my update now. I hope you like my build. And I want to thank all you subscribers out there who are just randomly subscribing. Um, it kind of like keeps my enthusiasm going here in the hobby for you guys because this, I just don't do this stuff for me. The mind is endless and I have a creative mind and a lot of people out there don't have a big budget and they don't have a creative mind and you'll search for hours and hours and hours on forums trying to figure out this or that, you know, will it fit this or that and it seems like everybody has this big secret going on out there like, you know, like they're going to cash in on it someday or something. I don't know. Well, I'm putting it out there for you guys. So, Bruiser Frame, RC full wheel drive motor, and single speed transmission, and Trail Finder 2 adapter kits for the motor, and the transfer case. Uh, drive shafts are a simple measurement, you know. So, I mean. I'll get into that if somebody wants to know about drive shafts. I mean, I like making my own, but, um, you know, it's nice to have something really high quality custom built under there so it kind of like enhances the rest of the truck. And uh, so that's my segment for tonight, guys. I'll upload this and, like I say, you know, thanks for everything. And, you know, if you guys need uh, any questions asked or anything like that, feel free to. Make a comment on the page. Um, you know, share it with your friends. You know, doesn't matter. Right now, the only problem we have with this RC four wheel drive V8 is there's no accessories on this thing. And I've done some crazy, crazy, crazy web searches for accessories on this thing. And you know, there's some guys that come out with some really nice plastic stuff, which you know, it's probably all you need. But you know what? I went this far and bought it, and I want metal. You know, I want everything to be metal and aluminum and all that stuff. And I've made custom-made headers before out of brake tubing. But uh, the older I get, the bigger my fingers become. Because I work on a frame machine and I straighten frames for a living on cars that get into accidents. So my hands are like Magilla Gorilla. But these tiny little screws right here, you got to have good eyesight with them too. So... I've been working on that, and from what I can see, if somebody comes up with a custom-made set of headers for the Trail Finder 2 with this V8 in it, they should fit the Bruiser. So there's a lot, lot of, you know, a lot of obstacles in the way, and it's going to be tight. And the reason I chose to take this out of the Trail Finder 2 was because of the steering setup they had. The steering the servo was in the front and it blocked the engine which it got rid of the scale look I mean I want to put a radiator up there and I do have a bunch of 8th scale monogram model kits and all that with the engine so I might you know you know me I like building stuff and I can mold something so I might mold a water pump and and uh, some other stuff out of not really plastic but and not Bondo either there is other stuff out there you can make things out of. And uh, the cool thing is, is where the water pump bolts in the front of the motor over here, there's actually screw holes for that too. So, I don't know what the sizes are. They look really tiny. So, you know, like I say, I've been, I chose this to build something to stupid scale, you know. So, and it's a challenge, I have to admit, but. So if anybody wants to follow along and do the same thing, you know, 
And if you don't want to be a tool bag like everybody else is on the forum and hide your ideas and you want to share the, the ideas with everybody, we could come up with something new here, something, you know, that, you know, because not everybody likes the bruisers. And, you know, there's a lot of Tamiya or Tamiya haters out there, you want to call them. But, you know, if it wasn't for this piece of shit right here back in the 80s, it, you know, nobody would be doing this right now. And uh, it was always the holy grail of the RC kits and, uh, you know, for scale realism. And, uh, you know, I wanted to put that engine on the original Bruiser Tranny. But the problem is, it'd be like taking your brand new, you know, Mustang or Camaro or, you know, Challenger and putting like a 1950 tranny in it, you know what I mean? Because it just is not made to withstand what we evolved to do with these things. So, you know, I still have, I got a pile of bruiser parts over here. And, uh, you know, I keep going through it back and forth for, for measurements and references and all that stuff. And um, it's, you know, it's time to upgrade. You know, the frame... The frame axles and all that stuff on this thing. Yeah, the axles can be upgraded, but uh, the suspension and the frame are timeless, you know. And for about you know a buck and a half, buck sixty, you can actually buy a Bruiser frame with leaf springs on it, and and it fits them hobby body, you know, from RC four wheel drive, you know, trail finder two there. It fits, you know, the the there's plenty of Bruiser bodies out there. I'm a diehard Chevy guy, and Right now, I got a Proline Blazer, and it's more of 10 scale than the Claude Buster. The Claude Buster was kind of like the, it was like in the larva stage. It was like they handed the project off to somebody in the middle of it, and it went from 12 scale to 10 scale all of a sudden, or vice versa. And uh, so... The Proline Blazer has the correct size roof, the correct size nose, and the bed's just too short. And it's a Lexan body, which I'm not a big fan of, but um, they do take a good beating. And, you know, I like when you build something scale, I think it should be a hard body, if you ask me. So, like I say, I've seen a lot of this stuff out there. I, you know, I've watched a lot of information on YouTube and everybody's doing a great job of this and right now it's kind of like the dawning time for guys like us who like had this stuff for years and want to really really come up with something really nice with it and like I say the imagination is endless you know I've seen some guys come up there with stuff that actually blew my mind so anywho I'm gonna end the video now I don't want really to get too boring on it and talk too much but uh, like I say you know, any questions, comments, feel free, and uh, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, I want to try to get this overseas, because, like, believe it or not, we're way behind the times, way behind the times, because overseas, you know, not in America, you know, in Asia, like, you know, Europe, it's like, these guys take, I mean, even, I mean, my big influence was Canada. Thank you guys, because you're the ones that got me to get all this shit out of boxes and do it over again because you were seriously into like the crawl and scale thing and uh, you know you're like the mother country here so I just to live in a little Rhode Island so you know the whole world out there but alright guys I'm going to head out now and have a good one